Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today we've got some pretty sweet news to cover here, namely that Massive is hosting a brand new batch of playtests for The Division 2's new content as early as this week, should be like the day after I'm posting this video, so that's pretty exciting. I think it speaks to the rate of progress at which things are developing behind the scenes, and I will certainly touch on that a bit later in the video. Very quickly, before we dive in though, I have to take a moment and say, People, subscribers of this channel, thank you so very much. In only three weeks' time, we are, at the time of me posting this, on the cusp of just past 12,000 subscribers. What the hell? We just got to 11k, and now we're here, and again, nothing else can be said, but thank you. As many of you know, I created this channel out of my love and passion for the Division franchise, and I've strived to create the content and mold the type of discussion platform that I myself look for in communities where, you know, that I'm interested in, uh, where we can chat about things that are big and small alike, you know, all different facets of the game and hobby here that we like so much, and it's a true joy to create each and every uh, discussion, news, and speculation video that I do, because at the end of the day, we're talking about The Division, and that's what I love to do. So thanks a million, your support is everything. Without further ado, however, let's get into today's topic. So, what we've got today are two separate emails regarding two different playtests taking place at Massive Entertainment over the next two weeks, and we'll talk about the significance of that density in a minute, but the very first thing I want to address is the elephant in the room that I'm sure some of you are thinking, and I don't blame you, it's a totally warranted skepticism to have, the comment of being, this email doesn't say the playtest is for The Division 2, and you're 100% correct, it does not. However, for reasons I'm about to expand upon a little bit, and also reasons I cannot divulge, unfortunately, I can tell you with 100% confidence that with the information I have, these tests are indeed for The Division 2. For one, it's the most logical project at Massive to be playtested in this fashion right now. The only other contender in my mind would be Avatar, but given Division 2's update is certainly nearing completion and actively being polished up, it would make sense to me to perform a playtest of this category to get feedback on that. And two, this email's layout and general format and wording is identical to the one they did back in November of 2021. You may remember some coverage of that going around. And that playtest was indeed for the Division 2 prior to the update receiving its delay in December. And then lastly, encroaching upon that territory that I cannot get into, the person who sent me this has indisputable connection to the Division franchise and has been involved with past development and testing. So that's about all I can say on that front. So again, if you have any faith in me at all, then I can tell you with 100% certainty from the information that I have that this test is indeed for the Division 2. If this is the first time you're checking out my channel or whatever the case may be and only cold hard facts are going to convince you, then I suppose I don't know what to say. Maybe you're unconvinced. I'm going to proceed on, however, and hopefully you will listen along to hear what I have to say. So big shout out and thanks to the person who did uh, send me a screen grab of this email. Obviously, you know who you are, but their name is blocked out on here. Myself and the community greatly appreciate you keeping us in the loop with what is going on behind the scenes. So with all of that said, let's talk about the contents of these two emails themselves. I'm not 100% sure how this uh, image size ratio will format onto the video, so I might zoom in and scroll as I talk, but the image will be up on screen nonetheless. So you can see up at the top there is a division image with become a playtester, push us to the limit. Hello, blank. We have new playtests coming up soon. Uh, this invitation is regarding two separate playtests, one held on site and one held remotely. You'll have the option to choose whatever you want to sign up for only one of them or both in the survey. Um, and then obviously it goes through what some of the details are. The on-site playtest takes place Wednesday, February 2nd. That is tomorrow. Um, and again, in person, you're going to Massive, the studio itself, and doing that, I would say that's pretty darn cool. And then the remote playtest, you can see below that, takes place Thursday the 3rd, so two days from now, or Friday the 4th of February. Um, and so for that one, and again, we have another one to get to in a second, but you have the option of doing both or the in-person and the remote. And then of course, if you're the person whose email this is, you can click that link to a, a survey where you get some more in-detail questions um, regarding some of your own you know, personal information and whatnot. And that uh, may or may not be a part of how I know this is for the division too. So that's the first one, certainly very interesting, but I'm going to reserve my full thoughts until we go over the second email right now. Again, same heading, become a playtester. Hello, blank, we have two new playtests coming up. Uh, we're looking for players like you. These ones are both held on site. So out of these two, there's only one that's remote and that's on Thursday and Friday of this coming week. Everything else, and there are a lot of them, <laughs> are in person. You can see right there, it lists it. Playtest one is February 8th and 9th. And then the second one is February 10th and 11th. So that is Tuesday through Friday of next week. And we will come back to just how, you know, much of a volume that is of playtesting. 
If you would like to be selected, you have to, of course, there be available for those dates, blah, blah, blah. Uh, these are two day play tests, whereas the first one said you could just do one day or you could do both. This one is if you get selected and you choose to participate, it is a mandatory two day thing um, from 1,000 to 1,700 each day. So that is obviously seven hour sessions, 14 total. Pretty solid. Again, we'll get back to that. Um, you're required to participate for the full duration. And those, like I said, those ones are both in person. You come to our studio in Malmo, Sweden. And again, another link to a survey. Okay, two weeks of playtesting beginning tomorrow. I think that's a pretty important place to start. Beginning tomorrow, February 2nd, the team is going to be hosting playtests for seven consecutive workdays, with the exception of Monday the 7th, but still... Seven days of playtesting across two weeks is quite a lot, and to me, the intensiveness of it all is quite telling. If you'll recall back to the one in November, I went back to refresh myself, and it was just for one day. One, you know, full-length in-person day, but compare that to these ones now, and you might see the significance in their duration. This first week's playtest, that being the one that's in-person on February 2nd, and then the second remote session on either the 3rd or 4th, whichever you pick, doesn't specify a time length, but I would imagine it would be the same as the ones uh, the following week, so from 1,000 to 1,700, so a seven-hour testing day. That's already double the length of the playtest back in November, This just this first week. But combine everything for the next two weeks, you're talking about a combined total of nearly 50 hours of playtesting and feedback for Massive to receive and work with. That's quite a lot. So that's about all the concrete news I have to share with you today, but what I want to do now is transition into my own reaction and speculation of what this tells us about the Division 2's new content's progress, uh, because you already know I've got my own ideas and theories here, come on. In hindsight, now knowing that the update received a delay in December, having that playtest back in November just be one day long kind of tells me that it was probably pretty hard to squeeze that into the schedule. The team was likely already on the brink of having to make a decision about a delay, and I don't know if the feedback from that playtest impacted their decision, you know, much one way or the other. Uh, that's kind of how things shook out. But now, likely brushing up right against the date that the update would have been released on if it hadn't been delayed, you know, like February 15th or somewhere around there, we have this new wave of playtesting that's multiple times larger in terms of sheer hours of feedback collection and the volume of feedback the Massive will now have to analyze and review. So this is my prediction of how this fits into the larger picture and timeline that we can expect. I believe that these two weeks of playtesting will likely heavily guide the plan moving forward. I've said multiple times now that my current prediction, just purely based on my own belief, is that the update is probably scheduled for sometime around May, and that Massive may target March, obviously Division's big month, to do the large-scale reveal that we were set to get in January and begin the PTS, which then might lead into early April or some sort of timeline like that. Then giving them a month to iterate and implement any feedback they get there before the release, obviously in May. So I think that by the time they return to work on Monday the 14th, after these play tests conclude, if things look solid enough to carry on, then they've got a full month to keep working before the reveal happens in March. If the feedback they receive is more mixed, though, or not so good, then maybe we don't hear anything in March. But either way, I think these seven days of playtesting are absolutely going to be crucial in determining what Massive's plans are moving forward. And hopefully, if things go well, we can expect to be let in on what those plans are before too long. Regardless of what the long-term significance here is, I'm just glad to see the team having the ability to gain a big new wave of feedback. I would imagine that the one back in November was limited in multiple ways, both in the variety of opinions, because you're only interviewing one group, as well as the amount of stuff you can cover. Surely, they weren't able to test and get feedback on every aspect of the coming update in one seven-hour window. So hopefully, this seven-day window will allow for more opinions, a higher volume of feedback, and more features of the update to be given their time to shine. And I look forward to this hopefully being the next big step in allowing us to finally get this content in our hands. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Let me know your thoughts on the news of these two upcoming weeks of intensive playtests. Do you see them as being sufficient for Massive to be able to gain a good amount of feedback? Do you see them playing a crucial role in determining the development roadmap window moving forward? Whatever you're thinking about any of that or whatever else, certainly let me know. I'll be very curious to hear your thoughts. We've got a lot of stuff to look forward to with The Division 2 and this franchise as a whole. I know the wait has been rough, believe me, I certainly understand, but at this point we've waited long enough, the content is going to get here when it's ready, and hopefully that is sooner rather than later. That's going to do it for me on this one, everybody. Once again, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful day, and until the next one, guys, Rogue Gold, out.